Like, I just have no words. It's the perfect chocolate cake. Mm-hmm. What's up? It's Kat and Dev from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another vegan recipe. And today we're making something really sweet for you. Something really cute. Cake. Yay! Yeah, we don't make I enough say cake. There should always be more cake. Yeah. I think we only have one other cake recipe on the blog. And like that was like way before we really knew what we were doing. So <laughs> the honesty. <laughs> yeah. So this cake recipe I'm very happy with. Very. It's very good. Yeah. So we did basically like a very simple chocolate sheet cake essentially with chocolate icing and sprinkles because it's not cake without sprinkles. Like why would you not put sprinkles if you have them? Come on. To me, like I don't know if you if this is like a thing that people have, but it tastes to me it tastes like a really classic like grocery store cake. Okay. Like those like birthday cakes you would get at the grocery store. I mean, I think the icing's better than grocery store icing, but like to me, I just, it's just like, that's what it reminds me of. That like, that kind of nostalgia. I love it. Okay, well we should go make it, but make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss future vegan recipes. And without further ado, let's go. Cake time. To make your easy chocolate sheet cake, you're first gonna start off by preheating your oven to 350. Then in a bowl, you're gonna combine some all-purpose flour with cacao powder, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and just mix that until it's nice and combined. Then to another bowl, we're gonna combine some vegan buttermilk. Vegan buttermilk is just soy milk mixed with apple cider vinegar. Then we're gonna add in some white sugar, carbonated water, or you can do flax eggs here if you'd prefer, vanilla extract, and some melted vegan butter. And then you're just gonna mix that until it's nice and smooth. You may need to mix it between each addition. Then you're going to add your wet mixture to your dry mixture and mix until it's nice and smooth. Next up, you want to generously grease a nine by 13 baking dish and then dust with a little cacao powder. I have problems with mine sticking to the bottom of my pan a little bit. So if you do too, you can add just a little bit of parchment paper and then grease the parchment paper as well to the bottom of your pan. Then you're going to dust with cacao powder and you wanna pour in your chocolate cake batter into that grease dish and bake in your preheated oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. We did about 37 minutes for ours. You want to bake that until a tooth, until you insert a toothpick into the cake and it comes out clean. You want to allow that cake to cool completely once it's out of the oven before you add the icing to it. So while it's cooling, we're going to make our chocolate icing. To make the icing, we're going to add some vegan butter to a stand mixer and beat that until it's light and fluffy. Then we're going to add in some icing sugar and some cacao powder and beat that in again until it's fluffy. Then we're going to add in some vanilla extract then we want to add in some aquafaba and you might need to put a towel over your sand mixer so that you don't make a mess but then you're going to beat that in until it's light and airy and you can beat that as long as you want just stop it every few minutes to see if it's the texture you want we did it about five to seven minutes with the mixer on low you're going to slowly drizzle in your cool some cooled melted chocolate and beat for just another one to two minutes until it's fully incorporated you really wanna make sure the chocolate is cooled before you put it into the icing because you don't want anything to melt. Then once your cake has completely cooled, you can spread that vegan icing, the vegan chocolate icing over top and top with sprinkles. If your cake isn't cooled by the time you're done your icing, you can put the icing in the fridge to store until it's ready. But we, I would recommend taking it out about five to 10 minutes before you're ready to ice it so that it gives the icing time to soften again. Alright, so, okay, Devin, question. You made yeah. yours with flax eggs? No, I used the carbonated <gasps> water. You did it! Okay, I wasn't sure if you did it or not. So yeah, uh, this recipe is with carbonated water because I've learned that I really like carbonated water as an egg substitute, but I've also tried this recipe with flax eggs, and it does work as well, too. So it's pretty even? I think it's a little softer with the carbonated water. 
the um, flax egg makes it a little bit denser, but they're both really good, so. Oh, it's so perfectly soft, though. Mm-hmm. It's so good. And it's so chocolatey. Mm-hmm. There was mm -hmm. so much chocolate in this recipe. It is so good. Like, I just have no words. It's the perfect chocolate cake. Mm-hmm. Now, Devin will tell you this also. It's a pretty soft cake, so it's not, it's not a good cake to be made into a layer cake. And the icing, too, if you chill the icing before, it would definitely need to sit out and soften before you can really do much with it. So, But I will say, Devin, what do you think of the icing? Because the icing is different than, what, like, a normal American buttercream. It's delicious. Okay, I, I don't know that I can taste that much of a difference in it. Really? Yeah. It doesn't taste less sweet to you? I don't think so. Huh. I don't know. To me, this is like significantly less sweet than an American buttercream where it's all just butter and sugar. It was a great icing too. But when I, I can't remember the blog that I found this on. I'll link it below. But when, uh, when I found this recipe for like an aquafaba type thing, I was literally blown away because I just thought, I was like, finally, this is like the perfect level of sweetness an icing should be. I think it's delicious. I think I'd have to have it, like, beside another icing to compare, because I just forget. Yeah, that's fair. I really like it. It's so good. This is, like, I like this cake because it's so easy to make, but it's so delicious. So, like, if you have, like, a birthday coming up or something like that, you can just whip this up. It's so good. It's perfect. Okay, but, like, what do we even talk about in the comments? What's your fla favorite flavor combination of cake? Like, this is a chocolate on chocolate. Do you prefer like chocolate right. with vanilla icing? Also, my computer's gonna die. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. So yeah, oh, fla wow. favorite flavor combination of cake. So like, Devin, what's yours? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I don't know, cause I really like lots of sprinkles and so Funfetti would be like vanilla on vanilla, but also chocolate on chocolate is really good. I, I don't know. <laughs> chocolate on chocolate is usually my go-to, like, if I'm at a restaurant and I want dessert or something like that, like chocolate on chocolate is the cake that I usually go for. But a Funfetti cake is really good. Right? I will say though, I'm not really a fan of like a vanilla cake with a chocolate icing or a chocolate cake with a vanilla icing. I don't know. I don't love the mix, mix and match. I think the only way that chocolate and vanilla works is if the vanilla it's like an Oreo vanilla. <laughs> yeah, like like a cookies and cream type thing. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, in, I like that. In the comments, tell us your favorite combinations. And also, I feel like in that include, if it is a layer cake, what about that middle layer? What do you like in there? Oh. Like some jam, icing, marshmallow fluff? Like what do you we Marshmallow like? fluff. Oh, oh my God, we should make a s'mores cake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I I am trying to work on like a s'mores pancake recipe, so. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. As usual, the recipe will be linked in the description box below, so you can go make this delicious cake too. There's also a link to our podcast. It's called Camera Eats First. We talk about veganism, how we make our recipes, how we run our blog, our favorite food content. It's just a good time. So go go give it a listen. Comes out every Monday everywhere that you get podcasts. There's also a link to our Patreon community. Our patrons are a lovely group of people who help support the work that we do and in exchange we give them some bonus content. So if you're able to support us that way we really truly appreciate it but if not that's okay. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share it with somebody who needs this cake in their life. Everybody. 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 Especially Everybody. especially like non-vegans who are like mm, I don't know if there's like good vegan cakes. This there is it. Is. Yeah, and especially yeah. now, because everyone's sad, so. <gasps> yeah. What? <laughs> what? What? It's quarantine. Everybody's sad now. That got, like, so real, and I didn't really realize it. <laughs> everyone's sad. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> no, it's true. Cake makes everything better. True.